We are live again. How's everybody this afternoon? So this weekend we have uh, WPX RTTY, 48-hour radio teletype contest. It's actually one of my favorites, and uh, it's one that the Flex Radio really plays well to. And I want to run through some um, some setup ideas for some people who are looking at this for one of their first contests, or you just want to start running some radio teletypes, some RTTY. Uh, again, one of my favorite modes uh, going. And the receiver on the front of the Flex 66, all of them actually, does an amazing job of hearing weak signals beside loud signals. And this will be one of those times if you've run an RTTY contest in a super hat radio, and then you flex you've switched to a flex radio that you will actually hear the operational difference the ability to hear this really weak guy right beside some really loud guy and pull him out and print perfectly um is pretty cool so uh i'm gonna go through the highlights of the setup for this on the flex side i am not going to go through the highlights of uh how to set up uh, mmtty or mvary or two-tone using n1mm that's well documented uh in the n1mm uh, documents which are um very well done a lot of them written by uh, v3 uh, kilo india rich uh does an amazing job with them but there's uh, a couple of things to remember if you're wondering about what really happens is we it uses uh two-tone um MVARY, MMTTY, to do the decoding and the encoding of the radio teletype signal. Uh, and N1MM itself, the logging program, will put the radio in and out of a transmit. So um, let's bring up the screen here. And um, let's bring up the screen here. And I've set up a screen here with uh, our... Um, Smart SDR on the left, uh, and a couple of things in, in the middle, and then we'll we'll talk through sort of the rough setup. So we'll get rid of my picture because you don't need to see me. But we've got um, uh, Smart SDR on an RTTY signal. We're in RTTY mode, and we are using DAX1. We talked about this yesterday, DAX1, to um, to get the audio to send to the computer program. So we're going to come across here. Here's DAX1. We can see the data moving here. In fact, we've got an RTTY signal fading in and out. I'm not using my remote. I'm actually using a local station. So uh, signal's a little weak. But this morning, I was copying the UAE on 20 meters. And just to show that that's DAX1, if I turn it off and say none, you'll see here that this goes yellow, and we're off. So this receiver, DAX1, here we go, we're back and we have some noise there. I'm probably gonna keep that about 50. And um, if you hover your mouse over uh, the blue button, you're gonna get some data that we're connected to this radio, the channel's enabled and the data streaming rate. Perfect. Keep that in mind. And uh, now let's move forward about to, uh, to CAT. Just want to set that up and we'll bring this on top. So CAT, which is the computer rated transceiver, I think the T means, uh, where we communicate to the slice. We're on slice A, slice A, remember yesterday I said, so slice A, cat control, COM6, and it's connected to N1MM logger. Uh, and that's our logging program. Okay, so we're, for the, and um, for the moment, we're going to be done with cat, so we're just going to get rid of cat. But remember COM6, if I go into N1MM now and under configure ports, uh, this is so that N1MM can actually talk to, uh, hi Don, uh, talk to the radio. I have COM6 flex uh, set to, um, well, we can open it up, uh, 9600. But this is key here. I'm going to use push to talk via radio command. This is push to talk to uh we're going to send cat commands to put the radio in and out of transmit uh you can leave the enable hardware software push to talk off uh the delay uh, we'll just pretty much leave it stock okay so let's uh let's keep that all like that and uh, at this point in time i'm going to say if you've never run uh, these modes, then to please go into N1MM's manual for setting up MMTTY and MVariant. Yes, for those of you that saw the version number fly by, this is a 3.2 version. 
So there will be a 3.2 version. Uh, so before everybody goes crazy and all that. In the setup on settings in uh, MMTTY, all this stuff keeps showing up down here. Uh, we have, um, I didn't really touch anything in here. And message setup. So there you go. That just leave it all stock. Let's go back into configure because I missed something. So back into the configure for um, uh, N1MM, uh, we have uh, digital modes. We're going to go here. It's a sound card mode. We're going to use this path to generally is in C colon, ham, MMTY, etc. We're only going to set it up for one radio. So I'm running uh, SO1V, back to digital modes. It's in AFSK. That's audio frequency shift keying. Um, Flex Radio does not support a frequency shift keying. Hey, Glenn and Thomas. Uh, so have a good look at that. We've got AFSK. And uh, I think that's all we have to set up here. Um, AFSK for MVARI, et cetera. Okay, leave that like that. We're going to close that. And just to be sure, I'm going to go into config. It all reloads every time again. And we're going to go into uh, logger plus audio. I don't think that, I can't remember, to be honest, if that needs to be set up for playback. But like I went through yesterday, a uh, single sound card, internal radio codec, DAX, et cetera, DAX, audio, TX. Um, and for recording, we're not going to worry about that. And for monitoring, we'll leave that like so. Um, and I remember now where the other thing I wanted to check is this is going to come up as well, my RTTY engine here. We're going to go into Options and Setup. We're going to uh, just leave it stock for now. There's a lot of things here you can tune, but it works just stock right out of the, right out of the, the loop. We're going to uh, just look at decode, not going to touch any there. Transmit, you can leave this alone. We do not have to touch push to talk or FSK. Uh, that will happen automatically by the N1MM software. But sound card is important. So we're going to use DAX Audio RX1. Remember, there we go, DAX Audio RX1 right here. And we're going to use DAX TX Audio TX for our audio that we need to receive to decode and our audio we need to send back to the radio. If you can't see all these, click this Hide Flex Radio Reserved Devices so you don't confuse them. And the reason you want to do that, if I turn that back on, uh, we get a lot more than we can see. There's no scroll bar here, so uh, we'll just hide those. Hide. And let's make sure. So DAX Audio, and by the way, that reset the settings. And uh, so DAX Audio TX1. And you got it. Okay. So you're done. I know you'll have to back up and slow down a bit, but let's just see if it's working. So right now, um, there was, of course, the signal's gone. Been there all, he's been there all day, um, but now he isn't. Uh, let's see if it goes into transmit. And uh, Murphy's Law, this did work earlier. I've turned my power down to zero. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send something really short, like my call sign, which is F6. We should see the radio go into transmit. We should see the level meter pop up here. Those are the two things we're looking for. And how far do we drive this level meter? About minus five. So let's hit the F6 key. And we're going to see that we've got transmit audio here. Make sure this is blue. And then DAX needs to be on here so that we have an audio path blue blue and the level command here i'm going to transmit it's going to be right on top of him but again i'm not sending you know we can hear him if you want and um with monitor turned on let's go off frequency well if i send uh, my call sign okay there it is here's some of the stuff i like about running rtty again my power is turned down to zero I see this guy here in the waterfall and in a contest, there's a whole pile of signals. And this is where the waterfall really stands out. 
in the super het world non pan adapter you um it's in the super hit world non pan adapter you're tuning and waiting and you're tuning and waiting and you're tuning and waiting and then you see the signal or you hear signal now you're tuning him in but when you have a, a waterfall of course it's disappeared i can just click on it and then i'm immediately you'll get to the point where you can immediately click on the mark and it lines right up and you decode you call them on the next go around and away you go and it is just so much more efficient uh than any other mode uh when it comes to contests well cw of course you may have to wait for the call sign and the, but the same thing here so it's easy to go back and forth and find new calls and just do search and pounce search and pounce search and pounce your way down the band and get them to decode right now we've got a good example by the way on um setting up uh agct i'm sure you can hear my audio right so let's make sure how do you set up agct i'll just turn this off for a minute so we've we've used done courses on this before or gone over it but this is a good time on a quiet band uh do not run this all the way up here it's not what you want we're going to start with the agct down at zero we're going to slowly increase it and slowly increase it and increase and increase and um once you get a bit louder, it's like 3 dB louder, you want to keep it about there. My 20 meters is pretty quiet right now. Uh, this is my antenna in the city. I've got all the preamps on. The band's a little quiet and dead, so... Um, but please, generally my AGCT is never above 50. Uh, and now when I'm done setting all that, again, don't forget we're in RTTY, um, I just get rid of all that information there. You can click up here and away you go. So uh, I'll show that again. AGCT, I've shrunk down my flag. Uh, this is whether you want it fast, medium, or slow. Don't run off. You don't need to. I just generally leave it medium and about here. And the other cool thing, of course, I don't have a signal. Do we see anybody here? Oh, there's somebody here. So just like that, look, I can just go tune right in. I grab my flex knob. I slide up. Maybe they'll call CQ. And by the way, I like the traditional uh, crossed uh, oscilloscope tuning. There you go. I'm just going to mute this. Now, if you've ever used N1MM, um, the signal's a little noisy. He'll, this guy's call sign will show up in the grab here eventually if we get a space. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. <laughs> it's not going to work today. Um, you can use the, um, um, I think it's Alt G or is it Control G? Give it a shot, uh, and uh, and that will pull it in uh, right into uh, right into here. Let's see. Let's clear that with Alt W. It's Alt Wipe, and we have no calls. Let's here we go. Anyway, pretty noisy here. So. Um, yeah, Don, I wish that was my antenna farm. I think that's from um, uh, D4C, but I'm guessing. And uh, Simon, no, uh, I'm not going to get into the operation of MMTTY. There are a lot of videos on YouTube on using N1MM and MULTS and stuff. This is all about uh, using it for um, with this radio. Look at this. I just double clicked here. We've got, uh, we're now printing. And we're going to get a whole brag tape. But eventually we'll get a call sign. And it'll show up in the grab filter here. Let's just pause for a second. And there's a lot of QSB. So that's it. That's my, um, no, it's not my antenna farm. <laughs> yeah, this one I die and I win the big lottery. Look at, so here, Kilo Echo 7, Bravo Charlie Charlie showed up. I'm going to do a uh, control G in, um, I think it's Alt G and N1 MM, Alt G. It pulled it out of the stack here and filled it. I'm going to tap the space bar. He's going to give me a serial number, 34. I'm going to hit enter and log him. And away you go. And tune your next one. So thanks. Good luck in the contest. I hope to work you. I uh, plan to do a fair chunk of it. Uh, although I have a desk job all week, I find it hard to sit down so long. And uh, 
um, you know, for a 48 hour contest, my butt can't uh, take it anymore, but uh, I really should, I've got a stand up desk. I maybe should run from the stand up desk for the weekend and probably uh, do much better. Thanks for taking the time to listen. And uh, thanks for being a flex customer. And I want to hear over the weekend, uh, come in and talk. I'll leave this up on Facebook and come back later and, and let us know what you thought and what you learned and, and even during the weekend, make some comments if you're wondering if something could work a little better in making the receiver work better. And you, by the way, I'm going to reinforce the fact I'm running an RTTY mode where I'm not using this like a uh, PSK31 mode where I click on each one. I'm actually going to die it all around. I want to keep my um, my filters in RTTY. And uh, I think, uh, what did I have? My... Um, uh, I was running 350 or 400 hertz. Uh, that should be certainly good enough. Take care. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the contest. This is Mike, 73VA3MW.